so in our last video we have created this application and uh, specifically we have added this custom action button set admitted so what it does is uh, we have a field which is got admitted so this has a status of yes means the student got admission and then uh, this has a status no it means this student doesn't get the admission yet so when we click on so initial state of this custom action is disabled but as soon as i click on any row or i select any row this gets enabled right and uh, it is irrespective of whether the student got admitted or not so if it is still yes then also it is active and if it is no then also it is active so what we want here is if the student is already got activated or already got the admission then this custom action button should be disabled and if got admission status is no then this button should be enabled so let's see how we can do it so we have already seen the action the custom action which we have added here and uh, we have a feature here which is instance feature and in our last video we have seen the usage of this this is basically used to set the state of any control or any item right it it depends on the certain values so this is what in this video we will be using it and uh, when we activated this or when we created an implementation for this method there were two different methods which was created so let's see which ones were those so one was this set admitted and the another was this method get instance features okay so this is the same thing which we are seeing here so now we will be writing code inside this method to get this functionality okay so very first thing what we need to do is we need to read the read the entities of uh, behavior definition so we will be reading read entities of this again in local mode and our entity specifically which we want to read is student and uh, which field so the field is status again and with corresponding keys and the result we will be taking into student result or student admitted okay and uh, if there is any error which is failed then we will collect here this will return the if there is anything wrong then this will be populated okay so this one thing is done we have read the specific record of student and now what we are going to do is we will be updating the button status here okay so we will be taking so let's take the status first so let status value is equal to we will put here condition and uh, what condition we want to put so when the member or the student is 
active or got admitted so we will be checking the condition here okay so before that we can have multiple rows here right so we probably need to put a for loop here before so for and our all data is inside this one so for student in this and uh, then let's do it here so our value will be in the stud so stu we probably need to have a value like this okay and then it will be ended like this so the value and then and this value should go into the result so now we need to put a when and then student so students which field we need to check we need to check the status field so if this status field is equal to abap underscore true then true then we need to make it disabled so underscore above underscore behavior and we want to make it constant oh hyphen disabled okay else we want to make it to make it enabled okay so this is done and uh, now where we need to set that value so in and again we will be using percent tky is equal to student hyphen percent tky and we need to set the action so action and then set admitted is equal to status value so whatever status value we will be getting from here if the student status is true then it will be disabled otherwise it will be enabled and this value will go to this variable and then finally we are setting this whatever true or false in the set admitted method button action button okay so this is extra and let's close this and uh, source code format so let's activate method got activated and uh, let's test it so refresh and show detail so now what should happen is the expectation here is if this got admitted is yes and if i select this row this should be disabled because it is already admitted and if i select this row and this has got admission no then this button should get activated so let me click on first this so this is still disabled which is good and now when i click on this 
so this button got enabled here so now you click on this and this got updated here and this got disabled because now the status is got admission status is true if i click on this this is stable disable and this is also disabled so this is how we can we can control the condition of custom action buttons based on specific column or specific condition so that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you